So which IDE features are you likely to be asked about in an exam? Well, let's have a look through them. First one you're going to need to know about is the editor. And this is known as code in Visual Basic 6. So if we have a look at VB6, here's our IDE, Integrated Development Environment. If we go to View and Code, then we can see all of the code that makes up a particular program. There are other ways of getting round to finding the code, uh, such as this button here. IDEs have build automation tools, and these are tools within the IDE that make it easier for you to do your coding. So if I go to design mode and draw on a new button, say, double click on it, then start to do some coding. As soon as I type a known command, it might pop up with some helps, uh, some help prompts uh, to guide me along the way, make sure I get the correct syntax, etc. IDEs will also have error diagnostics helping you to locate errors. So if I was to run this new code that I've put in and actually use that button, the IDE is giving me an error saying compile error variable not defined. It will actually take me to where the error is and it's complaining because I've tried to use a variable there that hasn't been declared and doesn't exist. All IDEs have what is called the runtime environment. You just saw me using it there. So clicking on run and testing out the new code that you've put in. Um, runtime environments have things in them called debuggers. Debuggers are so, so useful. Uh, what you do with a debugger is do something like that. You click next to some code and you put on what is called a breakpoint. And it allows you to step through the code to see exactly what's happening with every line of code. So if I was to run my program and click on that button where I've put the uh, breakpoint on the code, then the code stops at that breakpoint. I can hover over objects and their properties to see what's in there. So that's the value that I had put into that um, combo box. And then I can by pressing F8, start to step through my code. So see, I'm not going to get an error on class name. But when I come to date, I actually left date blank. And I can hover over that to see that. I can do the same down here. I can do question mark txt date dot text. And it will tell me that it was blank. Um, so if I keep hitting F8, I'll see that I'm starting to generate an error message here now. Please enter a date. And that's what will happen here. And I get my error message. So that's a debugger in action. All IDEs have translators, and we know about the two different sorts of translator. The first type is the interpreter, and you saw me using the interpreter there. Whenever you hit play here to run through your code, that's using the interpreter. The second type is the compiler, and this is where your code gets zipped up into an exe file so that it can be given to somebody else, but they won't be able to check out your hard work in the coding. So let's see the compiler in action. In VB6 you would go file and you'd go to make exe. Now this program's called 2PDF, so that's going to call the exe 2PDF. So if we hit that, um, decide where we want the exe to go, click on OK. It whirs away um, and first of all isn't happy with that line of code, so I'm just going to comment that out and try again. So you can see um, it won't compile if there are things it doesn't like in the code. So let's try again. I think it's happier that time. Let's just go and check it out. There's the exe file. And I could give that to somebody else and it would work now. IDEs have auto documentation, which is uh, things that will allow you to um, create files full of your code and other important things to do with your project so you could give that document to somebody else and they would know what all of your software was about. 
other tools and other features of IDs that you're less likely to be asked about in an exam, but it's useful to know about anyway, are things like the WYSIWYG designer. WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get. And you've seen the WYSIWYG designer in BB6 a few times, just where you design how your software looks and you put on all the things that you need. The Project Explorer, and that's used to um, view all of the different components and modules of code in your project. So you can see I've got various modules of code in this project, and that's where you manage those. There's the toolbox, which is where you pick up anything that you want to include in your project, any software controls. And there's the properties window, so when you do put a new control on, you can set the properties of it. So that's a whiz round the uh, features of ID. I hope that was helpful.